Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my video tutorial for converting object between R and Python. So in my previous video tutorial, I showed you how to set up R environment and also convert a data object into threat object. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert threat object into a data object. So you can see here, I have uh, analyzed the non epicentral cells RDS threat object. So we can read this threat object in. Let's read it. Okay, you can see in my R environment windows, we have a large threat object. We can use the DMP node to have a look at the cell clusters in this threat object. You can see I named the non epicentral cell canisters, 82 cells, 81 cells, they are LV and uh, epicentral cells, then uh, club cells, gognate, basal cells, and the ciliated cells, they are bronchial epicentral cells, and also we have a senescent cell population in this data set, because this data set including samples from the IPF9. So next, we can have a look at the metadata for this data set. We can use the real function to see the threat metadata. Okay, you can see the row names are the buckles. We have the origin ident for the sequencing ID, n count, RNA, and feature RNA, percentage of mitochondria DNA, patients, and the sample information. You can see I performed the data integration, use the harmony method, and also I removed the double need. So you can see I named the cell clusters, but in the metadata, I didn't add the cell type information. So next, we can add the cell type information from the root ident. Let's run. So now we add the cell type information in the root metadata. We prepare the threat object to convert into a data object. So to convert the threat object into a data object, first we can get the expression matrix data use the get C data function. Then we get the metadata from the threat object. And also we can use the get C to get the feature data to produce the same UMAP in the A data object, we also need the UMAP information from the threat object. So let's run the code to get the expression data, metadata, feature data, and the UMAP data. Now you can see in my R environment windows, we have the embedding information for the UMAP. If we click, you can see the row names are the cell buckles. We have UMAP1 and the UMAP2. And uh, we have the feature data, and we also have the metadata. You can see I showed you the metadata already for the threat object. If you have a look at now, we have the cell types information. So we have all the data. Now we can convert the threat object into a data object. So you can see here, we will use the expression count, metadata, feature data to create the A data. Then we add the UMAP information into the A data as multiple layers observations. If we run this code, we will create a A data object. Let's run. So you can see in my Python environment of Windows, now we have the A data object. So we created the A data object. Now we can have a look at the A data observations. You can see the row names are the cell barcode. We have the origin ident as the sequencing ID, then until the last column as the cell type. So we have the same metadata in the A data as the threat object. So we have the A data object now. 
then we can use the scan type not function to create a UMAP for the a data object. Okay, you can see we created the, the UMAP for the a data object, and the cell clusters looks the same on the UMAP as the threat UMAP object. Again, the color is different for each cell cluster compared to the throughout you map, but if you want to make the same color, you can set the color in the you map loop not function. So you can see it is very easy in the R markdown to convert a single cell RNA sequencing data object between R and Python. So now we created the a data object, we can use the a data write h 5 ad function to save the data. It will be saved in my R environment folder. You can see at the moment we only have the fruit RDS object here. If we save the data, let's run. Now you can see in the folder we have a h 5 ad a data object. And you know we converted it from the threat object to a A data object, and we have the same UMAP for the A data as the threat object. So I finished the demonstration to show you how to convert a threat object into a A data in R Markdown. You can see from my previous video and also in this video, once you set up your R environment on your computer. Then it is very easy to convert the object between threat and the scan type object. I only showed you how to do object conversion between threat and the scan type, and also you can convert the A data into single cell experiment object. So I'm going to stop from here for my demonstration. I hope my video tutorial can help your data analysis. Thank you for watching my video tutorials. See you next time.